Welcome to this week's video. I've got an exciting place to show you that we discovered on the Murray River recently and looking forward to taking you through the good things about it, not so good things about it, so you can get out there. Let's get to it. start with, let's talk about location. Now the campsite is located at the GPS coordinates minus 33, 0 0.12479 and 116.26103. Look that up and you'll see exactly where that sits on the Harvey River, uh, sorry, Murray River. The, the way to access it is two ways to sort of get to it. Your first option is to come down the Southwest Highway, drive all the way to Harvey, and then take the uh, Quindanning uh, Harvey Road, uh, which will take you up past Harvey Dam and into the forest. Uh, the other option, of course, is to come via sort of Quindanning direction, uh, which is sort of either up through either Dwelling Up or in through Boddington, uh, and then make your way down towards Quindanning, and then access the Quindanning Harvey Road from the eastern end. Now, in terms of which route you take, it takes about 45 minutes road drive from Harvey to come in from the west, uh, heading in towards the camping locations. And if you're coming from the Quindanning end, it takes about uh, 30 minutes to come from the Quindanning end east, heading towards Harvey. The track is uh, gravel um, for the majority. There are bitumens at both ends, um, but the majority of the track uh, that we'll be driving is gravel. It's pretty well maintained and is currently undergoing some roadworks. But um, like I said, bitumen at both ends and it only really has about sort of 20 to 30 minutes of gravel depending on which part you join. Looking now at the campsite stats, there's a couple of things you need to sort of be aware of there. Depending on the size, you're probably going to be able to get about three trailers in there. Access can be a bit tight. Uh, around the access tracks, there's a few winding turns. We had no trouble getting in there with our EMU Expedition. So sort of your 15 foot hybrid, probably no problem whatsoever. Bigger caravans might be a little bit more difficult. The location actually has direct river water access, which is fantastic. And someone's conveniently built a handrail there and there was a couple of rope swings there as well. The water is relatively deep. Uh, so, you know, there's a few water things that you can enjoy while you're there. It's pretty shady as well, and the ground is actually really quite level. So in terms of actually setting up, there wasn't really much for us to do at all in that space. Looking at activities, what can you do while you're there? It's a couple of great things you can do. It was summer, so swimming and kayaking are definitely options there. You can actually fish apparently in the Murray River there. Never really tried it. I'm putting that down on my list uh, for next time. Possibly take the fishing gear along as well. Of course, you're about 30 minutes from Queen Danning Hotel, uh, which means a pub lunch is always in the offering. Can get pretty busy on the weekends, but it has a great lunch service out there as well. Also from a four wheel drive point of view, the actual track is just off the southern end of the Captain Fawcett track, and that is marked. So um, if you're into some four-wheel driving, this is a great option if you want to do a four-wheel driving weekend uh, coming up from the south part of the Fawcett track. And if bushwalking is more your thing, uh, it's well located just off the Bilberman track. So there is actual plenty of walking opportunities and plenty of uh, four-wheel driving opportunities in the area. <music> Let's talk about pets and amenities. What can you expect when you're there? Look, pets are okay, but it is in the, sort of the forest, so you can expect there to be a 1080 bait risk, um, so be careful with your dogs. Uh, it's a fully self-contained site. It's a real leave no trace situation. Uh, there's no amenities there, uh, so whatever you take in, you need to bring out. There was a bit of toilet paper and a bit of rubbish around the place, which we sort of picked up a bit while we were there. Uh, but again, my usual message is don't leave anything behind. And uh, if you're going to go to the toilet, uh, make sure you dispose of your toilet paper properly. There is no uh, phone reception there. We have Telstra uh, Mobile and there was no reception there at all. There were pockets of reception just driving around the area, um, but there was none actually there. Right, let's talk about overall rating. 
What were the good things? Look, there was like literally no mosquitoes there, which is amazing. I was expecting there to be a few more. It was a bit cool and it did actually rain while we were there. So um, yeah, I thought there would be more mosquitoes. Um, it's pretty isolated and there's very little people around. Um, given the fact that it's relatively easy to access from the Quindanning uh, Harvey track, uh, there was we saw very few people out that way. Uh, a couple of motorbikes and a couple of cars in the area, but that was literally it. There was, there was not much out there. The other great thing is it has direct access to the water. So as a camping group, you literally just come out of your tent or your trailer and go straight into the water from there. It was uh, fantastic. The water's nice and clean and clear as well. The downside was, at times you would often hear the overland conveyor belt noise. That's a bit of a distance away from the camp, but you definitely hear it sometimes at night. And I think it would just depend on which way the wind was going and how strong that wind was. And the other thing that was a bit of a downside was scorpions. We actually found quite a few small scorpions. We're talking uh, maybe a couple of centimeters long, three centimeters long at most, that we saw at night time. Nothing else to really worry about there, but there were a few scorpions that we noticed. So be careful about leaving your footwear outside at night time or maybe walking around in bare feet. Overall though, we definitely give it a four star rating. We'll definitely be coming back there. It's a good camp to go to. It probably works out about a two hour access from Perth but it was very peaceful, very quiet, and perfect for a summer getaway down on the river. All right, well, that's it for the quick Murray River camping review. Um, it was a great spot. There's actually plenty of other locations in the area as well, so a bit of four-wheel driving will get you out there exploring some of the other locations. Um, but that part of the sort of upper Murray River is actually full of great places to camp. This was a really good spot. I really recommend it. It's a great spot for a small group uh, and is well worth your time and your drive. Plus, Quindanning Hotel can't be that place for a great pub lunch. All right, enjoy your time, and don't forget, it's time to get out there.